Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Wrestle Dudes Wrestle Doodles. And as many of you guessed by the ending of the first episode featuring Rey Mysterio, this month we are doing The Undertaker. Once again, another one of my favorite pro wrestlers of all time. Uh, the Undertaker was one of those superstars that I got to know in my first couple of weeks starting to watch pro wrestling. As I mentioned in the first episode with Rey Mysterio, the first time I ever watched WWE television was the night Alberto Del Rio debuted and injured uh, Rey Mysterio. The second episode that I ever watched of SmackDown was an episode where The Undertaker and Kane were building towards a Hell in a Cell match at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. So The Undertaker and Rey Mysterio quickly became uh, two of my favorite pro wrestlers of all time. Uh, so it's a very good uh, thing that this is the second episode. I'm very excited for this. And if you want to find out how to download this Undertaker drawing to use as a wallpaper for your phone or your tablet or anything like that. I'll explain how at the end of the video, and I have some very exciting news concerning the next episode of the Wrestle Dudes Wrestle Doodles. So right now I'm just starting out, we're tracing around the jacket parts, so uh, uh, you may be thinking how come I'm not just going completely black with the uh, jacket and everything, it's because the, the way the light works on the Undertaker's jacket, it doesn't make it look completely black, it sort of gives it the sort of like, I would call it a grayish blue, I don't know what you would call that, maybe navy blue-ish, especially in this picture, so what I want to do is sort of capture like the coloring, especially because since the Undertaker's hat and his hair and his jacket and his singlet underneath are all similar shades of black I wanted to be able to distinguish them from one another So right here I'm just getting a little bit of a outline of the hair and we'll go in and we'll do the hair some more detail here that way we'll have a much more definitive line of where the ha hair ends and uh, where the jacket starts and the hat where it will start. Uh, one problem that I did run into doing this was that, uh, like I said, the colors of black were way too close together. So whenever I would try to use the fill, the fill-in feature, the paint bucket feature, uh, it would just turn all of the colors like the same color. So in some cases, it was a little bit more difficult to do, uh, but I still think that the final product turned out very, very well. There we go, and right here I'm just going around and I'm doing some outlining, just making sure that I can get those fine edges. Same thing I did with Rey Mysterio, but I didn't show that on that episode, so right here I'm showing it to show you how I do it. And right here, I'm just filling in the singlet area, and I'll fix up some of the coloring here once we uh, get into some of the final stages here. But right now, I'm just going through and I'm getting these small little areas around where the singlet is, changing up the coloring a little bit based on where the shadow would be, considering his arms are covering up like the bottom part of his singlet. And now I'm starting to work on this scythe, the staff, so I had to use a couple different layers of brown here. So this will be the lighter layer of brown, and we'll have a darker layer, and then this final layer would be the darkest brown. And then we'll just go up and continue on the scythe with this part. There we go. And we'll have a special version of this Undertaker drawing at the end. Uh, since this episode is coming out in December, I'm going to have a special edition of this for you guys. So you guys will be able to find out how to download that at the end of this episode as we continue on doing the scythe here up at the top. We're doing the little, uh, uh, what would you call it, wrappings up around the top. And I'm just carefully going through and lining out the top of this scythe.
All right, now we're going to be moving on to the face and the chest. So right now I'm just working on the muscle outline of this and working out a couple more outline uh, lines. So we're doing them up here by the chest and up here by the face. And then we're going to work on the neckline, which is really going to be shown uh, through his like facial hair, where his little goatee is. That's going to be where the final uh, line is. The Undertaker has one of the most notable faces in all of wrestling, so I really didn't want to mess it up. And I decided to go with the Undertaker all white eyes because that's what he's more iconic for is this like how he makes his eyes roll in the back of his head so I really wanted that to be in the picture and then I'll go in and I'll use this black outline and it starts out thin, but I ended up going back and using a much more thicker one. And then what I did to combat this, so it didn't look really bad, would take the skin color and once again go back and sort of line it out so that way it's not too thick. I don't want to look make him look like a hardcore goth person. There we go. And now we're going to go in here and we're going to work on some of the face lines. How he has this grimace, it creates these like angry lines on his face and nose. And now we're going to do the nose, and then we're going to do these face wrinkles. There we go. And he's got a couple on each side. And then after this, we're going to start working on the goatee. So here we have some more lines. This really does add that little cartoonish uh, look to him. There we go. And now we're making the goatee. So this is the rough draft of the goatee. There we go. And then I'll just cover up the rest of this right here. There we go. Line it up a little bit. There we go. And now we're just going to get the area where his mouth is. Just kind of empty that out a little bit. Actually, if I left this as his mouth, it would look kind of weird. And I kind of noticed it was lopsided on that side, so I just decided to even it out. And now we're doing the lips. There we go. And you don't want the lip skin color blending in so much, otherwise it'll kind of distract. Especially if it makes it look like the Undertaker is wearing, like, pink lipstick. There we go. So we're going to want to give him that, like, evil, angry grimace. And then these are going to be some more neck vein lines. Just make it a little bit darker. And then this is how we're going to do the hair. We're going to use this feature here. And it's going to give us a much more hair-like uh, appearance. There we go. And finally, we're going to work on the hat. We need to work on, uh, like, the tip of his hat and the little strap that goes around it. And now I'm just going into some final details, working on some of the fingers. There we go. The fingers around the scythe. I thought it was a little bit easier since it's not really showing his fingers, uh, his actual fingers. But other than that, that'll be it for how I created this Undertaker drawing. Now I'll throw it to real life me to show you how to download this Undertaker drawing. And so you can see the final product. Well. Here you have it, you guys, the Undertaker finished product, the uh, Wrestle Dudes Wrestle Dude version of the Undertaker for the month of December. And since this drawing is taking place in December, like I did with Rey Mysterio in the last one, there was an exclusive Wrestle Dude version of Rey Mysterio. Well, since this one's taking place during the holiday season, I figured I'd do another specialty version. The Undertaker Christmas style. I switched out the scythe and put in a candy cane. He kind of looks like the Grinch disguised as Santa Claus. It's Santa Taker. Uh, so you can download either of these wallpapers just completely free by following the top link in the description. It'll take you to our website and you can download either of these ones to use as a wallpaper for your phone, for your laptop, for your wall, uh, for your tablet, anything that you want to use it for. But that has been it for this episode of the Wrestle Dudes Wrestle Doodles. But before you go, I do have some news concerning our next episode, which will be a vote off between everybody that watches this so whoever wins this next episode will be the next person to be drawn in the wrestle dudes wrestle doodle series so your choices are the cleaner kenny omega or one of my favorite pro wrestlers of all time the best in the world no not shane mcmahon cm punk 
So those are your two choices, Kenny Omega or CM Punk. And towards the end of the month, before I'm about ready to start filming that next episode, I'll look at the poll results from this, and I'll see who won, and whoever wins, that will be the next episode.